downloadsource.net. Hey everyone, Josh from Download Source. I've got a pretty useful video here for anyone who's noticed these little blue arrows on their desktop, any of their drives or folders on Windows 10. Now it's nothing bad, it's just compression and it'll usually happen if your drive is getting quite full. So to remove them from the desktop or any of your folders in general, right click, go to properties, click advanced from the general tab and untick the compressed contents to save disk space option. Click OK, then apply accept a change and you might need to accept permissions if so just click continue and it will update now if the icon doesn't change immediately you can right click and click refresh here this will update it okay also if you have them in windows file explorer okay like this one here same thing right click properties general advanced untick the box click ok apply and okay now you might also notice them on full drives so go one of these I don't have it on this one but I'll do an example right click properties and you'll see here compress this drive to save disk space untick it and it will be done now that's the basic option if you want to keep compression but remove the icon so it looks like a standard icon without the blue arrows and keep compression you'll need to do something more advanced You'll need to download a special little blank icon, which you can grab from here, from our article. It's a Google Drive download. And once you have the file, just extract it. It'll be a blank ICO file and paste it into the following folder on your computer. So C Windows System 32. Okay, so we'll paste it into the folder. C Drive, Windows. And paste. You'll need permissions to do this, but most people should have it. Okay, once it's in the folder, let's start the next step, which is in the Windows 10 registry editor. Things will get a little bit more complicated from here, but it's nothing too hard. Okay, open the Windows registry editor. Okay, once you're in the correct location, is just here you can use it in the left hand plane to find it right click on explorer go new key and create a new folder or key called shell icons once that's done right click in the central pane go new string value name this 179 then double click on it and change the value data to the location of the file you saved earlier which is the blank icon file your value data should look like this once done click OK restart your computer and the change will take effect simple as that if you don't restart it you won't see the change instantly so you have to restart to make it that sums up this guide hopefully that's helpful personally I just stick with the first two options the registry one's a little bit excessive but if you really want to do it you can Anyway, thanks for watching. See you next time. Download